Hi everyone and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on getting started with integrating Wagtail within our Django projects. Now Wagtail is essentially a very powerful and flexible open source CMS which stands for a content management system that is built on top of Django and it's going to also provide a very clean admin interface, page tree structure and it also will have customizable content models and these are very helpful if you want to build blogs, portfolios and anything that is very rich content driven wise. So let's go ahead and see how we can get started with everything. So I am going to follow the Wagtail documentation here just to get us started. Now there are a lot of features here that you can integrate in your projects as well. So I will be sure to refer to them in the description of this particular video tutorial. Right, so let's get started. Now let's go on ahead and set everything up. So what I'm going to do is create a folder on my desktop. So I'm going to right click say new folder and I'm just going to call this dev that I'm going to open up my CMD so I'm going to search for my command prompt okay then I just want to adjust this size here right and let's go into devs I'm going to say cd for change directory we need to go to our desktop first and then we can say forward slash dev and enter and that will take us right into that perfect so we've got that set. Next, we want to set up a virtual environment. So you can just say pip install virtual env, which is a package that we can utilize for creating virtual environments for Python based projects. So you can make sure that you have that installed. Okay, let's just wait for that to install on our system. So for me, it's already installed, so I can continue, but make sure that's already on your system. After doing so, we want to set up and activate our virtual environment. So then we can say virtual env, venv, and make sure that you're in dev, of course. And venv here is the name of my virtual environment. This can be changed, it's optional. And we can press enter. And that's going to create a virtual environment for us. So let's just be patient as that gets created. Sometimes it occurs very quickly, other times you do need to wait just a moment or so. All right, so now that our virtual environment has been created, let's activate it. So now we need to refer to the name. So mine was venv. Then we can say backslash scripts, backslash activate. And you'll see on the left-hand side, it will now indent that virtual environment by the name that we refer to it as. Let's clear this up. If you are on Mac OS, you can type clear in your terminal. If you're on the command prompt on Windows, you just type CLS. Right, so now that we're in our virtual environment, now we can install Wagtail. So we can head on here and we can just copy the following. And we can just go ahead and say pip install Wagtail. So it's going to install a lot of some packages along with it. And this process usually takes some time. So let's just wait and give it some time to install everything accordingly. All right, so welcome back. So as you can see, Wagtail was set up successfully. Let's clear that up. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to create our Wagtail project directory inside dev here and we can give it a name. So we want to say Wagtail start and then you want to give it a name for your project. So I'm going to call it elevate and then I'm going to say dot which is going to refer to this folder that we're in which is dev and enter. It's creating a Wagtail project called elevate using the default Wagtail template and it's been a success. Well done. So now we can head on over to Visual Studio Code, for example, and we can select the options in the top left, go to File, say Open Folder, and we can go to the Desktop, select Dev, and say Select Folder. Okay, and there we go. We can see that a base um, directory is in place now with Elevate and, of course, all of the additional files that come with Wagtail itself. Right, so we've got everything set up now. And the next thing we want to do is we want to run pythonmanage.py migrate and we want to create a super user as well. So as you can see, we've got everything as it should be. Now, what we can also do is just for clarity, when you are setting up Wagtail and everything, just make sure everything is installed correctly. So everything that we have set up will be in our requirements.txt file. So what we can do just for good measure is say pip install dash r 
requirements.txt. We don't technically need to do this, but it's just, you know, good formality to just install everything as it should. Okay, that's just literally everything that we set up um, in our virtual environment. In any case, let's make our migration so we can save pi some manage dot pi migrate. Okay, that's going to set up our database tables, of course, and everything. So let's wait for that. So you can see Wagtail has its own unique set of database tables that comes along with it with um, the Wagtail admin, Wagtail core, and any additional databases that are built upon the Django framework itself. Okay, so let's wait for this. So there is quite a fair bit um, that is going to be migrated, but it won't take too long. So let's wait for that. And there we go. Great, now we can create a super user. So I'm going to say python manage.py create super user. Okay. Oh no, skip, password. Okay, and now let's run our server. Okay, there we go. Right, so we can copy that URL. And let's go on ahead and paste that in. And there we go. So welcome to your new Wagtail site. So you can see there it provides us with some information in terms of the admin interface, the tutorial, and the Wagtail documentation as well. And of course we can see a bit of the release notes and let's go to our admin, for example, so forward slash admin. And you can see it has its own sort of interface when you browse towards it. So we can go in ahead now and enter in our credentials. All right, and you can also see it also has an option to say, remember me, so you don't have to have the hassle of constantly logging in the whole time. You can sign in. And there we go. So this is, of course, your dashboard for Wagtail. Now, of course, we can see it's got some different options such as images, documents, reports, and various other options that you can browse into and utilize in Wagtail. But as we can see now, we've already gone ahead and set everything up in terms of the getting started section. Now, of course, if we were to navigate here to our first Wagtail site, we've gone ahead and set everything up as it should be. We set up our virtual environment, we installed Wagtail, we generated our site, ensured our dependencies were set, our database was migrated, our super users created, and we've got on, gone ahead and set everything up as it should be for the rest. Now, of course, there are additional things that you can add in and utilize within your Wagtail site, but this is just a bit of a brief overview as to how you can get started. Now, of course, there's a lot more that you can add in and set up in terms of extending your homepage model. And of course, it does provide some screenshots and code snippets just to assist you with what you actually want to do and what you want to set up, especially with the template tags. And if you want to test it out with a basic blog, how you would go on ahead and set up your Django app, how you would integrate it and which file you would need to add in the designated code and what's not. So I'm going to ensure I refer to this in the description below this video. So you can read a little bit more and just build upon um, this video and this go on from setting up your first Wagtail site. All right guys, so that's it for this video tutorial. As always, thank you for the support and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.